People are a part of nature. It is in our interests to safeguard the biodiversity and green spaces that provide us with so many benefits. This is a task that requires cooperation. 11 regions in nine European countries have established the Green Infranet Partnership in order to work together for biodiversity protection. From the dry Mediterranean climate to the wetter north, from highly urbanized western areas to rural settlements in the east, each European region has expertise in the field of green infrastructure, as well as management models from which others can learn. A strong legal background to support green infrastructure is important at local level. In Italy, the Regional Spatial Plan and Regional Landscape Plan of Emilia-Romagna have helped to conserve biodiversity and raise public awareness. Green infrastructure must be carefully coordinated. Barcelona Province Council brings together various administrative sectors to assess the ecological and socio-economic characteristics of the region and to ensure that data are shared. Effective actions require institutional support. In Cyprus, Athalassa National Forest Park operates an educational center in collaboration with the Ministry of Education and Culture. The site's 840 hectare botanical garden is home to many species of birds, mammals and reptiles. Green infrastructure depends on management initiatives. Howth Peninsula in Ireland is an important area for biodiversity that attracts large numbers of visitors. Management activities include the introduction of goats for grazing, the removal of invasive species and the maintenance of footpaths. Green infrastructure development requires far-sighted decisions. In Flevoland, the Netherlands, planners have anticipated future needs by recognizing the importance of woods, wetlands and lakes for local residents. As a result of careful spatial planning, 20% of the area has been left undisturbed. Citizens play an important role. In Malta, the 2011 Sustainable Locality Action Plan for Gain CLM was developed in close consultation with the local community. The plan addresses sustainable transport, energy consumption and economic issues. As part of an ongoing project in Valencia, the regional authority aims to revive the Mediterranean Tilioserian forests. Meeting the challenge of renaturalizing forests that have lost its natural values due to long-term human uses. Much of this land is in private ownership, which requires effective communication between project organizers and local residents. Local initiatives help to ensure that nature-friendly technologies are introduced at community level. Latvia, a country with just over 2 million inhabitants, boasts 177 certified eco-schools and 3,534 registered organic food producers. Cooperation at institutional level is essential among scientists, policy makers and other professionals. The National Green Infrastructure Conference, held in Plovdiv, Bulgaria in December 2013, illustrated the vital importance of networks for the sharing of challenges and experience. Networks of natural areas are an indispensable element of green infrastructure. Thanks to the efforts of the Regional Environmental Centre for Central and Eastern Europe, initiatives have been implemented in Hungary to counteract the fragmentation of habitats. Green infrastructure contributes to cultural resources. Ayasmo Park, a green space in the Bulgarian city of Stara Zagora, has been a popular area for recreation since 1895, when a barren and eroded hillside was transformed into an attractive garden for the enjoyment of future generations. Over the past decade, there has been growing awareness of the social and economic value of nature and of the many benefits of green infrastructure. The Green Infranet partners hope to encourage policymakers, national and regional authorities, civil society organizations, and private companies to cultivate these assets in order to promote a more integrated, inclusive and resource-efficient society in line with Europe's 2020 strategy.